Um, again, I want to welcome everyone to uh, 3D for Medical uh, for Education. Um, it is taking uh, the education by storm, and I think you're really going to like what you see. Uh, but we just want to do a few housekeeping uh, items beforehand. Dale, if you'll advance for me, uh, we're going to use make sure everyone remains muted and we're going to use our chat feature for you to ask questions so throughout the the short presentation if you have a question please use your chat and then we will answer those at the q a at the end but uh stay tuned uh, we do have a sale going on and we want you to take advantage of uh, the, the the lower pricing that we have available for this so again appreciate you joining us and we'll just continue to move forward Adele, if you'll advance for me uh, today on our 30-minute webinar, we're going to start with a very brief overview of who JourneyEd is, what we have to offer, what we're bringing to you. Then we're going to jump right into 3D for Medical uh, with Edel, and then we'll finish up with our special offer and our Q&A at the end. So that's our agenda. Hey, just very briefly, I want to introduce JourneyEd. I want to introduce uh, the speakers today, but uh, Journey Ed has been around since 1990. Uh, we predominantly have worked in the software, hardware, and IT network arena. We work only with schools, K-12 and higher ed. So we focus our time with education and offer the, be the, the best sales and service, uh, sales and service that we possibly can. Uh, recently, we knew that AR, VR was going to be uh, very important in our school. So I was able to start the AR VR department. And that's when we have started uh, partnering with uh, such companies as 3D for Medical. And that's what we're doing a webinar today. But Journey Ed is a strong company, been around for many, many years. Uh, we are a platinum partner with Microsoft, Adobe, and other software. So you might know us from that, uh, from those dealings. But we now have a full service. Uh, out on the road, in schools every day, uh, customer-focused department, service department uh, with AR, VR. And that's why we would like to introduce to you the 3D for medical. So that's a little bit about 3D, excuse me, for Journey Ed. Today, you're going to uh, hear three voices. Uh, I will let Edel and Gavin introduce themselves, but my name is Joe Hutchison. We're here in Texas. I've been an educator for the past 23 years. I've been a classroom teacher, assistant principal, and principal of schools, and uh, then recently moved into professional development with ed tech. So I primarily uh, work with Journey Ed. I work in their AR, VR department. I do provide most trainings that we offer. And so I'm a teacher at heart, and if any questions, I will give you a teacher answer. Uh, so that's who I am, and I would like Edel and Gavin to introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. This is Gavin Barrett. I'm the commercial director here at 3D for Medical. So I head up all things sales, marketing, and business development. Yeah, I'm not a teacher. I'm from the apps world. and I've been working with 3D for Medical for about a year now, so I'm learning more and more about education every day. And uh, looking forward to tell you a little bit about the history of our company in one moment. Hello everyone, it's Idel here. Um, so I am the medical education team lead here at 3D for Medical and I've been with them for over four years now and I work with anything to do with bringing our app into an educational setting. So how students can use it to learn anatomy but also how educators can use it to um, teach and create lesson material. And so I will be showing you a, a nice brief demo of Complete Anatomy in a little while as well. Fantastic. Thank you for those introductions. And now we'll move forward into 3D for Medical. And Adele, I'm turning it over to you. Thanks, Joe. Gavin here. I'm going to give just a very brief introduction to the company because uh, I suspect not many of our attendees have heard of 3D for Medical. So just a one to two minute overview. We're headquartered here in Dublin, Ireland. We also have an office in San Diego where our co-founder and president is based with a sales team. And we're 75 staff altogether. Um, the history of the business, it, it was uh, created to sell 3D images in the medical space. So we have been creating medical content since 2004, thankfully with some success. 
you know, when the App Store launched, we quickly moved into that market and uh, we've been in a leadership position in that space since then. So we make the best medical learning apps in the world. Uh, Apple have awarded us their design award, which is the most prestigious award in the app world. They've also featured us in stage for those big keynotes with the, the CEO and put us on their TV ads. Microsoft have done the same. So we'd be regarded as, uh, I suppose, the leader in the world of um, medical learning or anatomy teaching apps. Um, up until 2016, we were selling direct through the app stores to consumers, but in the past two years, we've uh, started selling directly to academic institutions. And we're a small enough team in the bigger world of education, but uh, over those two years, we have successfully signed up over 200 academic customers at third level around the world. So some of the most prestigious medical schools around the world are using our products. And um, that's been a big success for us. But the reason we're working with Joe and with Journey Ed is to reach into the world of, of K-12. And we're very excited to be connecting with him and with you because we think our products uh, are just as applicable in second level as in third. So Adele is gonna take you through our products today. She's the expert and uh, I hope you enjoy the demonstration. Okay, so I've started sharing um, the app screen. Does that look okay, Joe? Yes, it does. Looks great. Okay, perfect. So, Complete Anatomy is the world's most accurate 3D human anatomy atlas, and it includes over 7,000 structures which you can view in 3D. And you're able to interact with the model and rotate the model to view it at every angle. You're also able to fade we even select a structure here and we'll hide it. And it comes with written content so that you can read information on every structure that we have. And this information was written by anatomical experts on our team. So a lot of students struggle with understanding the 3D relationships if they solely, if they solely rely on flat 2D images to study anatomy but here you can clearly see the 3D relationships of the body. And you can also see the beating heart here on the model like you would expect to see in the human body. You can also see the movements that the muscles help carry out. So here we can select the biceps and we can see elbow flexion off, uh, off the, this muscle. So I can see this muscle causing elbow flexion and how it moves the skeleton. I can view this movement at any angle and I can also manipulate the scroll bar for myself so that I can see it and get the position that I need. Being able to see the model move like this is going to help students um, reinforce this muscle's movement far better than reading it from a list in a textbook. We've included more features that help students learn the important things that they need in order to pass an anatomy exam. For example, we also have a nerve innervation and arterial supply so that you can see what nerve innervates a muscle just by tapping a button. And again, you can interact with this, see it from, uh, from all angles. So you can see what nerve innervates the muscle and you can follow its path back to where it originated in the spinal cord. This level of interaction and being able to explore the model will help students understand the anatomy and also keep them fascinated about anatomy. Complete Anatomy also comes with a suite of tools here that I opened up on the right hand side. And these tools allow you to project your ideas and your thoughts onto the model. So some of those include annotation tools, which you can see here. So you can have a pen tool to draw directly on the model. You can create your own labels and text boxes. We also have a cut tool, which allows you to virtually dissect the model any way you want. So you can recreate your lab dissection. We also have pathology tools like the fracture tool, we've broke and we've bone spurs so that you can manipulate the model in 3D. So you can create any view you want and also use our tools to customize the model as well. And Complete Anatomy is the only app that allows you to customize the model to such an extent. But then you can also save it as an interactive bookmark or what we call screens. 
And this is all saved inside your library. So I'm going to open up the library where we can see some of the screens that I've saved. So I'm just going to open up this first screen, which shows a cut down the center of the human body here. And this is using one of our tools called the cut tool, which allows you to recreate the medical dissection. And if I rotate the model, you can see that I've cut through some of the bone, the muscle and the skin to create a sagittal section of the body. So using the cut tool, you can actually create thousands of different views, which are completely customized by you. This next screen, which I'm about to open, will look at a cut which is made down the leg. But I've added in some additional tools like labels and a text box here. I'll just let this load for a little second so you can see it. So here we have the cut down the leg, but also we have labels on the right hand side and also a text box. So you can see you can start to project your own ideas and your lesson ideas onto the model. So you can cut the model anywhere you want and you can use the labels and text boxes. So you could be a student who's creating their own less material or you could be a lecturer who wants to highlight important structures and you can package anything you want that's a, that's, that will complement your curriculum. The next screen that I want to show you is a pathology screen. So this one shows a fracture on the neck of the femur. And you can see that this isn't a 2D image. We've actually manipulated the model in 3D using the fracture tool. On the left hand side, we've also uploaded an image of an x-ray. So you can compare an, a fracture on an x-ray with the fracture on our model. Seeing um, a fracture on the 3D model has lots of benefits because then you can also look at the surrounding structures such as some of the surrounding vasculature, which also could have been damaged. Or you can also create a simple atlas screen or flashcard here, so that you never have to use your flat 2D image flashcards again to study anatomy. You have your 3D interactive flashcard right in front of you. So now I want to look at the bigger picture and how you can use the model, our tools, and saving content to create your own curriculum or course. So here on this screen, I have some of 3D for Medical's courses that we have created in collaboration with different universities and lecturers. For example, we have our undergraduate human anatomy course here, which we created with seven different anatomy lecturers. If I open up the course, you can see 40 lectures were made were used to create this course. And I can open up the lecture, and on the left-hand side, you can see how it's made up of different videos, which were created by the lecturer, and those videos were created using the platform, and anyone is able to create their own video as well. And it's recording your interactions with the model, and also your voiceover, so that you can teach using this app. We've also used our screens, or interactive bookmarks here, to also create ready-made notes for your students, where you can also add a note so that they can revise what was said in the lecturer's video. And another thing that you can create is also quizzes. So you can create multiple choice questions so that students can submit an answer here and they can test their knowledge based on the lecture that they just watched. So I'm just going to return here back to the main library and we'll look at the other courses. So just to give you a nice overview of some of the other courses that we have, we have Point of Care Ultrasound, which was created in collaboration with the University of Sydney, and it looks at the diagnostic applications of ultrasound therapy. So this has videos that were created by these lecturers as well. And if I scroll up here, we have Cadaveric Images, um, which was made in collaboration with Mark Nielsen in the University of Utah. And he provided us with 200 cadaveric images, which we, which we place side by side our model so that students can identify structures on a cadaver and relate it back to our 3D model. And then finally, we also have Abraham's Clinical Human Anatomy course. 
So you may recognize Professor Peter Abraham's name as he is the author of several anatomy textbooks, including McMinn's and Abraham's Human Anatomy Atlas. And in this course, we cover some of the essential conditions that every physician should know. And again, we use over 500 uh, clinical images like x-rays, MRI scans. We place them side by side our model. We mimic the pathologies on the model where we can. And we explain the underlying anatomy for each condition. So that's um, you creating courses using the app. So um, what I also want to show you here is a or so complete anatomy is also um, compatible with a or so what we do here is i'll just open up the screen and i'll press the a or button and this opens up my camera it's just looking for a surface and i place the model right in front of me here so here we have a skull sitting in the three different medical offices and i can select on a bone to get information on that as well so just to show you again, it just opens up your camera. It's looking for a surface. You just press on the screen to place the model anywhere you want. And now you can rotate the model on the screen to see it in the area in front of you. And you can also explode the skull so that you have a disarticulated skull right in front of you. And not many students get the opportunity to see a disarticulated skull like this. So you can see how all of the bones, edges and surfaces come together to form the skull. Here we also have the beating heart, which I want to show you as well. And I've just hidden the front wall of the heart, so the right ventricle wall has been hidden. And I want to bring this in an AOR mode. So here you can see how the valves work. You also have the ability to increase the size to three times its normal size. So that it's perfect for seeing small structures. We can see how the valves are working here in the heart. And again, I can reduce the size and it will tell me when I've got to average human size. Again, you can also still select structures and read information there. So that is a nice brief um, demo of what Complete Anatomy 2019 is. And I'd love to be able to answer some of your questions now. Thank you, Adele. I appreciate um, you going through that. If you'll, while you're switching back to uh, our slides, um, yeah. I had a couple of questions. Would you uh, make sure everyone is aware of what device you're on right now? I believe you're on your iPad and that's what you were demonstrating from. Am I correct? Yes, so I was demonstrating from an iPad Pro and a Complete Anatomy is available on a Mac, iOS, so iOS meaning iPads and also iPhone. It's available on Windows and Android as well. Windows 10 specifically. Yeah, that's great to know because uh, you're using 3D for medical on existing devices. Uh, most all students have iPhones or even Androids. I use my 3D for medical on my Windows 10 uh, Surface Pro. I also use it on my, my Android. Uh, so you're using on it on existing uh, devices. Another question for you, uh, Adele, is the AR that you were just showing, uh, is that free? Does that just come with it? Um, yes, so, um, so we are using Apple's AR kit which is available on iOS, so iPads and also iPhone. And we have made Complete, Complete Anatomy compatible with Apple's AR kit. So it's available on those two devices. Um, and we will be working with Windows to explore VR, the so virtual reality. Very good. Another question that's come in, uh, how would you utilize the course section? So I, I interpret that as, can you build your own courses and how do you push it out to students? Yes, so um, the app comes with the ability to create everything yourself from scratch. So you can create your own resources like your interactive screens, recordings and quizzes, and you can assemble those into a course to push them out to your students. Although one of the big advantages that we have is that we already have a huge library of content already created. And we make that available to our educators so that they can pick and choose from our, 
from our courses to create their own curriculum. So they can pick and choose from our ultrasound course, our clinical anatomy course. They can tweak them or edit them to suit their own needs. And it's like, we call it a drag and drop curriculum where they just have to pick and choose what they need, assemble it into their own course, and then they're ready to share that with their students. So one of the big things that we like to push is that you never have to start from scratch. We have a huge library to pick and choose from. Um, and which a lot of people do, but then they also like to create their own things and you're also able to do that. Okay, another question, um, Idel, is does it work with the non-pro version of the iPad? It works from iPad Air 1 up. So iPad Air 1, iPad Air 2, and um, iPad Pro. Um, and also, I think iPad Mini, but it probably will be too slow on those on that device. It works really powerful on iPad Air 2 and iPad Air Pro, um, which most people would have now at this stage, and also MacBooks and Windows 10 devices. Okay, does it work with Oculus products? Gavin here, Joe. Um, yes. It's not on the Oculus right now, but I'm pleased to say we're gonna have a product ready for the HoloLens soon. So uh, watch this space, we're only a couple of weeks away from an announcement uh, regarding a new app featuring the models and tools that have completed an anatomy called Hollow Human. So uh, as I say, watch this space for news on VR. Fantastic, and as soon as we get that, uh, we'll push it out to the registrants for, this web, for the webinar, so we'll make sure you know that. Awesome. Um, uh, Adele, if you'll advance to the next slide, there are no more questions uh, that have been sent to me. I did want to make sure you understood pricing. Uh, there are four levels, and Adele and Gavin, please feel free to jump in. Uh, the ones that you're going to be working with is a student, um, oh my goodness, my mind just went blank, a student plus license is designed that each student would have their own account, their own license, so that's student plus. Then your teacher, your staff member would have an educator license, which gives them the options of building the curriculum and pushing it out to students uh, through a dashboard and they can monitor uh, the, the content and the classes. Uh, pricing um, is the student uh, plus license is $74.99 each. Now we're currently running 40% uh, off all the way through the rest of this year. So you can see big savings there. Uh, there is volume discounts available as well. And your educator for your teacher is normally $99 and we're running that 40% off as well. So um, again, the way it's designed is your educator, your teacher, your uh, instructor would have the educator license. They have the abilities to control the content. And then all students would have their own where they're setting up uh, their passwords. So all of their work is in their portfolio, their app uh, that's shared back and forth with the teacher. Do you want to add anything, Edel or Gavin, on the, the licenses that they might be using? Joe, I think that's a great summary, and I wouldn't add anything to that. Okay. Very good. Idel, if you'll just go to the last one, I think it's more Q&A, which uh, we've, I think I've got one more question coming in. Um, I'm sorry, no, I don't. Uh, oh, are the licenses perpetual? Very good question. These are annual licenses. Uh, there is a perpetual model, excuse me, app that is out there, um, and it is, it is a student license, but it does not have the features that you would utilize in class. So there is a perpetual student license out there. I can get you information on that. It is lower priced than the others, but it doesn't have some of the features. Anything to add about the perpetual, Gavin or Edel? Well, Joe, that's a great summary. Uh, the perpetual license or the individual license, as we call it, is uh, less expensive, but it doesn't have access to all the curriculum materials, the courses, the ability to receive content from an educator. So essentially, it's the 3D atlas. It's the model of the human body with some of the tools and, of course, all the written information. Yes. I uh, did have another question. Yes, the licenses are for one calendar year. So if you signed up today, it would go all the way through, you know, to September of 2019 have a lot of universities and uh, high schools that utilize this, colleges, 
and uh, they buy a block of licenses and we are able to um, assign those to the students and if a student moves away you do have the ability to interchange those licenses so again uh, their annual licenses I, I've given you the pricing and I will send that to you in writing but Edel and Gavin I think we're coming close to our time limit uh, seeing that there are no other questions uh, I would like to uh, thank both of you for your time I know you're overseas uh, we've enjoyed listening to your your Dublin accent and <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure, but uh, participants, uh, we, are, we have recorded this. We will get this out to you shortly, but please let us know how we can help. We are available for webinar uh, digital demonstrations. We're available for on-site demonstrations, but uh, we wanted to make sure that we brought you the latest and greatest resources that are out there uh, for your anatomy classes. So saying that, uh, Edel, I appreciate you and Gavin, and we're going to sign off now and hope everyone.